Make it special. Make it Maloney. We're proud to welcome our newest sponsor, Diva's Den, New York, 326 Main Street in Port Jeff Village. This segment of the Port Jeff Pulse is brought to you by Holistic Body for You, health coaching by Karen Sullivan. Good morning. Good morning on this Good Tuesday morning. morning. Hey. I'm always excited when we have a food guest. I know. It's, but, your, it's your favorite topic. Well, well, but triply excited when we also have a craft beer yes. guest. I don't think we've had any in Port Jeff yet. Joe Chardulo. Right. I said that perfectly. You I did. That was good, good well, what I didn't say perfectly the few times, we always mention you because I love your place, <laughs> Say Cheese. Uh, we've mentioned you a few times, but that, that would be correct, right? Say Cheese yes. is fine. Say so Cheese. Say Cheese right here on Main Street in Port Jefferson, the owner proprietor, correct? Yes. Great to have you, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting me be here. You know, I'm always, why, why Say Cheese? Where did you come from before Say Cheese? So this, the background is kind of interesting. I went to school for atmospheric science, weather, and always wanted to be a meteorologist. And then when I left school, my family business kind of came calling, which was in concrete. And, um, so I worked in concrete for a while. Ooh. Yeah, I didn't know that I was going in that direction. Uh, so I worked in concrete for a long time, construction, um, and I really didn't like it. I didn't like the business. And so I went to culinary school. Um, and once I did that, I found myself wanting to open up a restaurant. Uh, and I had visited France often when I was a child, loved the culture there, loved the lifestyle that cheese is involved in every meal. Uh, and my wife and I moved to the village like 11 years ago. Okay. And there were really not a lot of places to go for like, you know, late twenties, early thirties, something. Um, you had like Billy's and Tommy's, which are great, you know, kind of dive bars. Uh, and then you had at the time like Tequila Jacks and before Danford's was redone, it was, you know, Absolutely. a little bit uh, in need of work. So I saw a need for a place that I'd like to go to. Um, so I opened up Say Cheese, which is the combination like cheese shop, restaurant, bar. That's always the common factor for, for an entrepreneur because I, I, you're an entrepreneur at heart because if you can open up a restaurant and spend 70 hours a week there, you're an entrepreneur, right. even before right. you're or a stupid. cheese lover. <laughs> or, stu or, stu or stupid. Or stupid. So, but the thing is, see, he, wa he wanted to experience. It, it's always about opening something that you'd like to experience. And right. thank God, because then you make it happen right. and others go, oh, I also want to experience that, right. Right. which is fantastic. But I want to go back to concrete for a second. Sure. You must have had an <laughs> uncle or somebody involved in this. this <laughs> uh, yeah, my family was... Uh, my, my, okay. family, my, my father and my uncle started a concrete business uh, like 50 years ago, okay. uh, supplying ready mix con mixed concrete to the islands. Um, and it's been still around. It <clears> just wasn't my right. My and so, field. so thank God you, you you had this vision because you know it's probably profitable concrete, right? At, at least that's my. Yes. Uh, it was and it can be, but you okay. know, there was a huge There's challenges. It was a huge uh, downturn around 2008 when the market kind of Makes fell sense. out. So housing completely stopped. It was it was a tough time. And um, it's just a very difficult business. Construction really is uh, is is tough. Up and down. Up and down, and you know it, you, it's vying for every penny. Like, you know, if you're not making a penny on everybody else, you're probably losing money because right. the person before you, your suppliers, you know, trying to get every dime from you as well too. Right. right. So the restaurant is broken up into two places. Uh, you have to know that I didn't know that back end existed, and it, I just found it to be a quest to have you on the show. To you know, let people know that I, I felt that, it was yeah. really important, and, and, we, we, and, we, and we've done things with the mayor that that have brought that out. Yep. But you know, there's a back end to I, it, which is actually did, two stores. You didn't either, right? I didn't know until the mayor's piece. Kicked okay, in. so there you go. Yeah. So let's describe the front, what people can expect to eat and try in cheeses, because cheeses are one of those things. Like I know provolone, I know Swiss, I know cheddar, and only because they're on a burger. But beyond that. And I love cheese. I, I wouldn't know what to try. So wh what do you try to do to have people just come out and go, what? Let, and let me try this. Before we get to the uh, to that answer that question, let me just tell you something about Say Cheese. We've been there five and a half years, and pretty much at least once a day, if not more, somebody will come in and, and say, I live in the village, and I didn't know you were here. Aww. So I feel like people still, no matter how long you've okay. been there, kind of go to their places, walk around with blinders on. Right. Um, so... Uh, even though Kraft's only been open for about five months now, I, you know, people are always learning about new places in the village, whether they live here or whether they don't. 
But um, to answer your question, uh, as far as cheese goes, the best way to come in and, and try things is to come in and try them. Uh, we love sampling cheeses. We love talking about them. Sure, there's the classics like cheddar, provolone, alpine styles, like you said, Swiss. But in those specific categories, there are lots of ranges as well. Right, right. A cheddar could be like a really mild cheddar, like a cloth-bound cheddar from England, or it can be an aged cheddar for two, five, seven years that has that intensity that people often call sharpness um, or sharp cheeses. Good is the same way too. Good is can be young. Good is can be old. There's a lot of different intensity levels mm -hmm. in between. Um, but there's so many different cheeses uh, from around the world. We like to have the case stocked fully as often as possible, which you know could be about 150 cheeses or so. Um, so you know, wow. if you come in and you say, "I Variety. like this," yeah, I will uh, definitely suggest some cheeses based on things that you like. That's awesome. Yeah, and the, I think people need to know, too, we're not talking about like little packaged cheese that you'd find in a grocery, but we're talking about large blocks of cheese that you specifically cut. I, right. And you tell me, you cut it on, on demand, you cut it Absolutely, for the yeah. week, or wh no, whatever no, you we, do. Uh, we cut to order, which keeps the freshness right. of the cheese uh, at, its, at, at its best. Um, you know, when you buy pre-wrapped cheeses, the plastic wrap will definitely impart some flavor in the surface area of the cheese that it's touching. So we don't like to really wrap pre-wrapped cheeses for that reason. Plus, when we get a large wheel of cheese in, you know, from 10 to 40 pounds, uh, the easiest way to keep it fresh is to, by keeping it whole. Uh, when you do start to break it down, the, the shelf life of it goes down tremendously. Interesting. Now, it's important to notate, you, you serve lunches there. You have actual, we you have a, a lunch menu. We have a full cheese-focused menu. Um, sandwiches, salads, grilled cheese, mac and cheese, mm -hmm. basically anything that has cheese in it with the exception of pizza, <laughs> um, which, you know, as I look at my menu sometimes, I, I am overwhelmed by it because there's so many choices on it. And then I realize every time I want to take something off the menu, I always think of my customer and go, somebody's going to be upset that that's not on there. So I leave that on and then wind up adding things. And after five and a half years, it's pretty substantial. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's almost like a it's almost like a diner, <laughs> but not really. Be before we get to the to the beer craft beer, which I think really is such a great pairing, no matter what. You know, how has the winter's been for you as a business owner? I, I know things mm -hmm. slow down. You know, does it come full circle around to, to to make up for that? You know, let us know about how how you feel about that in Port Jeff. So I was really lucky when we opened up Say Cheese in 2011. That winter was really mild. Um, if we've had any of the winters like we've had in the previous years, with the exception of this year, it would have been really tough to, to the first year because I feel like once the snow comes, everything kind of slows down and to the point that it shuts down. And it would have been a first winter. That first winter would have been really tough to get right. through. Um, but I built my business on catering to the locals, focusing on them. They're the ones that support the business year round in the spring, in the summer, in the winter, uh, in the fall. When the tourists aren't there from Memorial Day to mm -hmm. you know Labor Day or Labor Day to Memorial Day, the, the locals are still there. Even in the summertime when most of us don't like coming down because of the parking situation, just how crowded it is, the people who live really walking distance will still come in or get takeout. Very smart. Um, so the winters have been difficult. They're definitely slow. But honestly, I find my busiest time of the year to be spring and fall and not summer like most people think. Right. Spring and fall. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nothing better than a good craft beer and a good slice or piece of cheese in the fall looking at the leaves. Now let's get to the craft beer part. Okay. Now, you have craft beer in the front too, right? Yeah. We started with uh, eight taps, draft uh, taps when I opened and quickly that evolved to eight craft uh, beers on tap. Two are staples. We always have Chimay on because they make cheese, and we always have uh, Frambois on, which is a raspberry um, fermented beer, because it's really kind of different than all the other beers. People who say they don't like beer, they'll try that, and they'll be they like, wow, it. I really like that. Yeah. And it's kind of like a, you know, a starting point for people to try new beers. So those are standards that are always on tap. And for the last couple of years, Allagash White which is a really awesome beer from Maine um, in the Belgian style, really light. For people who come in and say, I drink Bud, Bud Light, something like that, that's the beer that I always recommend for them. And you know, pretty much all the time, they uh, are very happy with that choice. Um, so we've had those eight beers on, uh, on tap since we opened. And then probably about two years ago, I decided 
let's really expand the beer program. And we started doing a bottle program uh, where we have probably 70 different things in bottle or cans up in the front. Wow. Um, which allows us to really bring a lot more variety into it. Um, so, yeah, the beer program has been amazing in it the cheese shop, and which allowed <clears throat> me to decide, hey, there's a need for this and a yeah. desire. Right. So, so less than a, hundred, well, a couple hundred feet away is Port Jeff Brewery. Uh, Mike, a uh, good friend of mine, yep. and, and we all know yep. each other. Yep. And then you're, you're a product, you know, right then and there, which is, is local, which is fantastic. Yeah, it doesn't get right? more local than that. So it you does. have his beer. We mm-hmm. have a little, little section in craft. Section, yeah, yeah which in is craft, wonderful. which is, you know, we have a lot of his package stuff. Okay. Um, and we try to update it frequently. Right. Okay. Um, it just gives, you know, him another outlet to sell his beer, and we want to support How the, any awesome village. Is, see? Now that's that's that's, the way it should that's be. just awesome. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. So there's a back door, there's a front door. Are by the way, are both the same hours? No, Crafts closed a little bit earlier. Okay, uh, because it is more of a retail shop. Um, so we close on nine o'clock uh, during the weeks, which is the same as cheese. But nine o'clock on the weekends, the cheese shop closes at eleven. Okay, so so people wouldn't go past that point to get to the back. Uh, right, everything would just stay up front for those two hours. Yes, different. there's a door Excellent. there. There's a yep. yeah. We'll, we'll close that and we'll lock the back door. You know what I really love is you have a a room uh, that's you know right past the front. It's a, it's almost like a semi private room. Exactly. And uh, that that room can that room be sort of like reserved? Yeah. As a room? Yes, we do private parties or semi private parties back there. Yeah. We really? can hold up to. Uh, we did a party in like cocktail party style um, party recently for about thirty people back there. And it's cozy, but it works. You know, yeah. when you get people who give them a couple drinks, you know, yep. it's, uh, it's, it's, a nice, it's a nice time back there. Now, you probably know this, but you might have forgotten. Joe's uh, place won the chowder contest this past yes, Harvest Festival. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, what's your secret there? Because you've won it a few times. Uh, cheese. No secret. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we put cheese in, uh, in our soup, in our, in our chowder. I really think it gives it just one more layer of Element. depth yeah. to it. Yeah. Uh, and the cheese that we use, that I've been using every year, is the same. It's Manchego sheep's milk That's cheese from, Sa- that- uh, from Spain. Really kind of like melts well in the soup. Also gives it a real nice richness. Is that the same cheese that's normally put on bread sometimes? Um, Ma- uh, where do I know Manchego cheese from in it's particular? Pretty, it's probably Spain's most popular yeah. cheese. Um, I mean, any cheese can be put on bread, but I'm, true. Uh, you know, I'm not really sure where. But, but it, it really makes of, that I've product heard of it great. As well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So you won that for 2016, and that's a yearly thing. I think it's done in October, right? Yep. Harvest, Festival. Harvest Festival. Festival. Yeah. So yeah. congratulations Three on that out of again. Four years. You get to keep the banner there, right? Yeah. So that's our third banner. <laughs> Yeah. That's our third banner. That's the third yeah, banner. We won uh, in 2014 and 13 as well. Uh, and Mike won in between that, 2015 from Gourmet Burger Bistro. Ah. I, I'm interested to know your uh, opinion on the new apartments that are coming into town because to me, it, it, it feels like it's your demographic. I love the, it. Uh. <laughs> it's like I'm thinking yeah. this is fantastic oh for my you. God, An apartment dweller. Who come on? They go out to eat, you know, yeah. and it's such a demographic. I love it. It's you know, and there's two new. And we say it all the time. There's yeah. two new projects here, so I think that's perfect for you. The that's goal fantastic. is to have craft be able to deliver beer to those apartments or anywhere else in the village right. within the walking distance. So those those people who are living there don't even have to leave their beautiful apartment. Yeah. You know, uh, and yeah, they're they, going to have that gorgeous terrace, the uh, that viewing platform at the top Drinking of the any craft beer they and desire. And craft beer yeah. from St. Cheese. Wow. This is a nice life we got going here. <laughs> it's good. You know? It's good. We will report on all of it. <laughs> I just wish we had beer here. <laughs> but it is 10 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> well, thereabouts. So um, I will uh, be personally going there. Yes. Very soon. Yes. Maybe after I get my project done today, even. Yeah. Fantastic. We should do another one of these in the afternoon, and I'll bring some beer. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. I don't know if you caught our show with Slurp, but I was uh, I was eating. I was eating. Yes. You were not partaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it, it was perfect because it was around lunchtime. Oh my god! So she it was brought awesome. uh, brought noodles for you. Like, Hot. Yeah, she did. He's Hot. Oh, Francesca. They're amazing. Yeah, they are. They're such they good are. people. Yeah, there. yeah. yeah. It's, a good, it's a nice restaurant community. It's really coming together very nicely. Yes. Very nice. What else? Can, oh, I love your shirt, by the way. I have to say that. <laughs> uh, you know, when he walked in, I was like, it just looks so comfortable, and yeah. I have to comment on yes. it. You know, don't yep. you think? No, I love it. You know, it's a little frayed, it's a little awesome. nice. Yeah. You work in awesome. that or did you just no, wear that just, for the show? Yeah, just the show. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's funny. 
Um, so any new plans for the year? Uh, we just want to keep expanding our uh, craft beer selection, bring in some new bottles. To really, the exclusive, hard-to-get stuff is what we're trying to focus on in craft. Um, Brooklyn breweries, Long Island breweries, there are so many good ones that are popping up that are really kind of on par with a lot of the New England stuff and the West Coast stuff that has been really dominating the market for, for a while. You have a partner that joins you with the craft part of yes, this, right? Yes, Chris. Chris, right. Chris, is he one of the people that makes the decisions on what to bring in? Yes. He does make the decisions. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. Yeah, he's uh, he's the primary beer bar, buyer for- Do you know what a flight is, Karen? Do you know what a flight is? Yes, I do. Okay. Yes. See, that we should mention yes. that. You have the opportunity to go to craft at yes. Say Cheese and choose- Right, four, flight. right? Four, four, yeah. four yeah. on spores. They come usually on a little like wooden paddle. Yes, right. You do yeah. know flights, yes. yeah? You're an yes. expert. Yes, proud of I you. Know what the flight is. <laughs> we didn't talk about this. You have wine too. Uh, in Say Cheese. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. So we, there's 25 different boutique wineries available by the bo- bottle of glass. Awesome. There. Dear Lord. Yeah, it's a really fun place. It if is you a like fun place. wine Smokes, and food man. and cheese. You know, that's like I said, I opened the place that I'd want to go to. My like, my awesome. friend Craig, who who I think you know, he's 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 a. Oh, we should talk about that. He's got a membership there. He will text me from there at Say Cheese, and he knows I'm spontaneous. But like the last few times, I'm like I'm in bed, I got a flu. <laughs> but you know, it's that kind of thing where I would come down. But you have a club. Yeah, our Say Beer uh, Club is um, for our members. It's very limited spaces. There's actually no spaces open right now. Um, but uh, it have in, entitles the members to discounts on on drinks and cheese tasting and access to private parties and stuff. And like it's that. a yearly renewable membership. It is. Yep. When you say spaces, what do you mean? What are they taking? They're taking up space at the place? No, no, no. Uh, I mean, I only the uh, allow 250 people in. Gotcha. And so when people don't renew, those are when the spaces open up. Okay. And there's usually I'm a waiting on list. That list. Yeah. Yeah. We'll find room there for is you, a Kevin. Is there a wait list? There's a wait yeah, list. Yeah, of course yeah. there's a wait list. <laughs> Maybe for Phil's birthday. Maybe if I'm just saying because Phil loves beer. A wait list for a membership. It's He's doing beer. it right. Yeah, for He's beer. doing it right for beer. Well, all I could say is thank the gods that made you go into this. Besides con- concrete, it's just a little more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you uh, friends of mine have done trivia night? Yes, there. every Tuesday night tonight uh, we okay. do trivia night. It's really. Fun. It's intense. There's a lot of smart people there. <laughs> a lot of competition. A lot of competition. Yes. And um, it's been really. We. I've been doing it with uh, with uh, this woman Angela from Let's Get Quizzical Trivia for I think almost four years now. Okay. Pretty much every Tuesday for the last four years. Okay. Uh, and it has really grown. There's a lot of familiar faces there every week, but there's always newcomers, and it's a lot of fun and very hard. <laughs> That's not for me. Yeah, my my you probably my friend uh, Lisa Scott. Okay. Yeah, I think she has She's gone been there. A there. Yeah, and she loves trivia night. Oh, and, fantastic! And they've they've gone to say cheese for uh, for a long time. Anything that socially gets people together, it's eating fantastic. cheese and drinking I love it. beer. It's a great yeah, idea. and Kevin, it's really fun because even if you're not the smartest in say, okay, you can math, get lucky. <laughs> no, no, no. You you surround yourself with a good team. So maybe you know sports. Okay. So you bring somebody else who knows math and science, and somebody else who knows history and literature, and somebody who knows pop culture, and you have yourself a little dream team right there. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, four people to a team. Uh, it's a lot of fun. No phones, obviously. It's right. very, yeah. you know, oh, it's very oh. intense. <laughs> I don't know if I said that four or five times. Yes, no cheating. No cheating. Yeah, do you do away. any other kind of events like that? So um, Wednesday is, we call it Wine on Wednesday. It's $10 off any bottle of wine, okay. uh, which is a great way to try a lot of these boutique wineries. Okay. Some of them start at like $15 if they're, if they're the discount. Uh, and then Friday and Saturday night, we have live music from 7 to 10. Oh. And we do other events as well. Like uh, next Thursday, we have a beer and cheese tasting with Barrier Brewing. They're in, oh, I love Barrier. They're in Oceanside. So it will be a closed-door event, ticketed event. We're going to do five beers from Barrier with ten paired with 10 cheeses. And um, it's a lot of fun of, with education, talking about the beer, talking about the cheeses. Uh, and you know, just a good way to sample lots of good it's food. Fantastic! Yeah, you're doing it right, Joe. Thank We're you. very That's proud awesome. of you. Good to have you in town. Thanks for coming on. We're gonna let everybody know about your place. Say cheese. Yeah, it's fantastic. Cheese. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks.